You can add new foods to your Nutritics account by clicking the Start button in the top left corner of your screen. This will open the Start menu. Select New Food. You can add data from product labels or from other sources. For this video, we'll use the product label. First, name the food and add a brief description, usually including flavour, source or the manufacturer. These also act as keyword tags when searching for the food later. Next, choose the category for the food from the options presented. Add the key nutrients that appear on the product's label. It's important to check the labelling region that's applied and if the product should be in grams or millilitres. Click Show Extended Nutrients to enter any other details, such as fat components or micronutrient information. Press Submit when finished and the label will automatically be converted to database standards. Once the nutrient information has been submitted, you can then add other details such as the allergen information or include an ingredient list. You can view any nutrition and health claims applicable to the food. You'll get a full nutrient breakdown and also be able to add any portion size options. In many cases, manufacturers do not provide detailed micronutrient information on the product packaging. So I'll show you how to duplicate micronutrient data from a similar food that's already on our database. To do this, simply search for a similar food that you wish to duplicate in the database using our search box. When you find a good match, right click the food to create a copy. You'll notice that the food is now copied across to your account. You can then edit and tweak the nutrient values and food details. All the foods that you edit and create are stored in the My Foods tab. If you do not have nutritional information for a food available, you can send a food request via the settings menu. Click on feedback to request this and we'll try to source this information for you to add to the database. If you need further assistance with this, check out our user manual or email us at support at